Composite numbers are whole numbers larger than one that aren't prime numbers, but they can be broken down into prime numbers. The process of writing out the prime numbers that make up a composite number is known as prime factorization, and every number's prime factorization is unique. Here are some examples. 6 equals 2 times 3, 12 equals 2 times 2 times 3, or 2 squared times 3. 250 equals 2 times 5 times 5 times 5, or 2 times 5 cubed. 510,510 equals 2 times 3 times 5 times 7 times 11 times 13 times 17, and 42,059 equals 137 times 307. Okay, so the last one's a doozy. Finding that prime factorization without a calculator or list of primes is tough. The factors of some numbers aren't always obvious, but prime factorizations show you the one and only way a number can be factored. A slick way of writing out prime factorization is to do upside down division. Let's try it with 120. You put a prime factor, or a prime number that evenly divides the number you're working on, on the outside left, and the result or quotient, which is the number of times it divides evenly, underneath. Then, you divide the quotient, or the number underneath, by another prime number and keep doing this until the bottom number is prime. Then you can stop. The order you do this in doesn't matter. You get the same result or list of prime factors, no matter what order you use. Look at the numbers going down the left side, and the number at the bottom. They act the same as the divisors in a division problem, but in this case, they're all prime numbers. Although many composite numbers could have been the divisor for 120, the numbers for a prime factorization must all be prime numbers. In this process, you usually do all the 2's first, then all the 3's and 5's and so on, to make the prime factorization process easier. But you can do this in any order. And it works well for larger numbers too. In this case, start with 13, because it seems obvious that it's a factor. The rest are all in a mixed up order, the prime factorization of 13,000 comes out to 13 times 5 times 2 times 5 times 2 times 2 times 5, or 2 cubed times 5 cubed times 13. So that's all there is to it. Now you can break composite numbers down into their lowest prime factors.